Hey guys, thought I'd give you a tour of my new hobby room. So I'll start with some of my Kyosho Mini Z's. So all of these cars are on drivable chassis. I've got front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, and I've got some drift cars, but most of them are rear wheel drive race cars. Okay, and there's my Kyosho 432PT radio which I've got them all programmed into. And over here we've got a couple of WL Toys K989s that don't have good speed controllers, so they're a bit hard to drive. It's almost like an on-off switch. They're not good at low speed, but they can drive on the track. Up there we've got an Esheen EAT06 tank. And next to it, another one. All right, down here, we've got an LC Racing EMBT, which is awesome. Next to it, we've got an SG1602, which just arrived yesterday, so I've only had a quick play on the driveway. Down here, we have some Esheen little, roughly 10 gram, simple differential thrust aeroplanes for my wife and I to play with at the park. And we've got oh, WL Toys 124019 buggy. And we have a WL Toys 124018. Don't you love the numbers? All right, over here, I've got a power supply and some of the battery chargers. Down here, more battery chargers. I use LiPo sacks when I'm charging LiPos. I just poke them into LiPo sacks. We've got an assortment of charges for AA and AAA batteries, mostly for the Mini Z's, but also for the radios. Okay, and there's my flight radio. I haven't flown my planes in three years, but I'm planning to get back into that soon. A few odds and ends. Okay, some Mini Z spare parts. Room to grow. More spare parts. Okay, over here we've got the relics from my plane flying, which is about 10 years or so of flying planes. So I've got to sort through that, see what I want to keep. More free space. Okay, here we have an Armour Typhon 3S that arrived yesterday, but I'm still waiting on batteries and XT90s from Hobby King before I'll be able to set it up to drive and test it. So at the moment it's untested. All right, just an assortment of tools. And I'll see if I can fit it in. Now on the floor is a Mini Z track. So it takes up most of the room and for now I've gone cheap and simple and just used some of the little end pieces from the foam mats as barriers and I've pinned them down with those pins with a little plastic ball head on them which is working really well. Just walk the layout. <laughs> so it's basically a smaller rough equivalent of my outdoor track which I'll show in a sec but I'll have to adjust the camera settings because I'm on manual exposure so I'll get the exposure right and show outside. At the moment the outdoor track is underneath the tarp because the pergola above it is not weatherproof. Rain comes in from the sides and lots of dirt and things get blown in from all sides so I keep a tarp over it when I'm using it but you can see the pressions roughly to see where the side rails are. All right, we'll stay away from the litter of gardening stuff. All right, and out there you can see some fruit trees. You can even see our cat's enclosure. And it's got a tunnel along the top of the pergola area to the end to check out what's happening up the sideway. 
and he's also got another tunnel. I'll bob down and you should be able to see it. Yep, running along the other end of the pergola so he can look over the back fence and see what's going on in a few properties.